feet long. You can see this kind of where the water was coming in. You'll see in a minute this panel. Right, you can see some water was making its way. It's hard to know if the water went in and then out or it just went around. You can see some of the ingress points right there that look like they've been worked on before. My wife took off that strip. Some plastic screws. And then this side is not as bad. It's a little bit of damage on this side, but it's not as bad as the other one. We go in. And then you can see the panel that I was talking about and the other panel. Now, there's a good chance that there's some damage on this wall, but I'm willing to look the other way if it doesn't have to be repaired, but maybe it needs to. And then when you come up here, this side didn't seem to be that damaged, but when you get towards the front, you can start to see that's kind of where it's at. And then here, see it's not as bad. So the other morning it kind of rained and then we noticed that this area was damp. So we think the water comes down, just kind of sucks in. This is old wood with styrofoam filling um, and there's metal underneath. This is a 2005 Tioga Fleetwood. Yeah, and the rest of the RV is in decent shape. So I don't think anything needs to be done back here. Um, we pulled out all the old wallpaper and we didn't see really anything uh, even the floor I told my wife not to do this but even the floor looks like it's in pretty good shape so I don't suspect that there's any serious damage on the bottom I think it's just limited to those two strips that's stripped off over there and then the nose taken in water so it's gonna be like really localized uh, to those two areas